I folks just run with the ideal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly measure the line voltage, ground and neutral voltage, peak voltage, and the frequency of a circuit using Ideal's SureTest Circuit Analyzer here. And if you'd like to learn more about the circuit analyzer from Ideal, it's our catalog number 61-164. So please contact our customer service department or again take a look at our website to find a distributor nearby you that actually stocks the testers. Now to use them, simply plug the circuit analyzer into a live uh, outlet using the one foot extension cord that comes with the tester. Or if you'd like to purchase separately, you can get a one foot extension cord with alligator clips on it so we can attach it to bare wires, but again to a live circuit. Now, the tester is going to indicate the polarity condition of the individual conductors when you first plug it in. And to look at the line voltage of a circuit, press the down arrow button once. And the tester is going to indicate the true RMS voltage of the circuit being tested. And the true RMS testers are very accurate with measure both voltage or current waveforms and really are recommended by the industry today. Now, that line voltage measurement should be between 120 volts AC plus or minus 10% according to the National Electric Code. So voltage fluctuations can occur in between 108 and 132 volts AC. And depending on the type of equipment, the device should still be working properly. Now, that fluctuation in voltage can be problematic depending on the type of equipment you're dealing with. And, uh, you know, a lighting circuit is probably not going to care a lot, but uh, your data network actually might care about that voltage fluctuation. Now, press the right arrow button once, and the tester will look at the ground and neutral voltage, which should be less than 2 volts AC. And in single-phase circuits, a higher ground and neutral voltage is going to indicate excessive current leakage between the neutral and ground conductors. Now, this can be caused by con uh, connections between the neutral and ground conductors in a circuit in locations other than the electrical distribution panel where the ground and neutral are actually bonded together. Now, excessive ground and neutral voltage may result in inconsistent or intermittent equipment performance. And it's one more thing to look at when troubleshooting equipment problems. Now, if you'll press the right arrow button once, uh, the test will indicate the peak voltage of that waveform that it sees. Now, the peak voltage should be about 1.141 times the RMS line voltage for a clean looking sine wave. Now, it's generally about 170 volts AC for a 120 volt circuit. Now, most people don't even realize that there actually is a peak voltage for that waveform, but there actually is. Now, if you press the right arrow button one more time, and the tester is going to indicate the frequency of the circuit being tested. And in good old North America here, that should be around 60 hertz pretty consistently. So to learn more about Ideal Sure Test Circuit Analyzer and how it can actually help you discover wiring problems in a building, contact our customer service department or, again, visit our website. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I hope that helped.